Hi guys, so today I am showing you my makeup collection and storage. This video has been long awaited and requested a lot, so we're finally doing it. I am going to have a little bit of a disclaimer as well as some more information that you guys might want to know written down in the description box below. So before you leave a comment or assume anything about the makeup I have collected, please go ahead and read that. It'll be directly below the video. If you just click show more in the description box, you'll see it all. And if you have any other questions about the storage that I use or anything like that go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you okay so starting on the top here I have two jars of brushes these are actually empty Bath and Body Works candle jars and I put in some Mod Podge and some white glitter and then I filled them up with rice which is what holds up the brushes and I just have some Real Techniques brushes some Mac brushes a Louise Young fan brush uh, Bare Essentials brushes and yeah, they're mostly Real Techniques and MAC. And then I have a candle here from Anthropology in the scent Noble Carnation. I've mentioned this before. I absolutely love that scent. And then these are actually little China figurines that I collect. A certain gift shop in rural Michigan that I always get these from every time we go every summer. So, and then this is actually a ring dish right here that I got for Christmas. And I just have my three makeup sponges on it. This is a Real Beauty Blender. This is a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And this is something that I got from Ipsy. And this is actually the best knockoff beauty blender I've ever had so I will write the name of it in the description for you guys. I'm fairly certain it'll be a lot less expensive than the actual beauty blender. So, and that is just the top of my little setup here. The top drawer is where I keep foundations and concealers, some random setting powders, and a highlighter that wouldn't fit with the rest of them, and then this is highlighters and a bronzer from MAC. I'm not gonna go through everything, but I have Makeup Forever and NARS foundations here, a NARS concealer, a Maybelline concealer, a NYX mineral foundation stick that I actually hate and should throw out, and then this powder, I'm actually waiting until I use up the powder that I'm already using right now, and then I'm gonna try that, it's Laura Mercier setting powder, and then I have some uh, sample size tart ones. And then in here I have my two Becca highlighters, Moonstone and Champagne Pop. And then here I have Matte Global Glow. This is NARS Albatross. This is Mac Soft and Gentle. I actually feel like this highlighter is really underrated in the beauty world. I'm trying to Will you focus, please? There we go. It is the Too Faced by Candlelight Glow. I absolutely love it. And then back here, if you're wondering why there is a Nivea Cooling Post Shave Balm, that is actually what I use as a foundation primer. It is an aftershave technically for men, but it has glycerin in it, which is one of the best primer ingredients you can have. It makes your foundation stay on really well. And then in the back here, I just have some random... Um, samples from YSL and Giorgio Armani. This next drawer is blushes and contour bronzers and the powder that I'm actually using right now. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. It is a excellent setting powder if you are on a budget and just in general it's a really really nice powder. These are my two NARS um, bronzer contour duos. I think I have Paloma and the Laguna Orgasm Duo. That is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil sample back there. Come on camera. Come on, uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Contour Powder, and then up here I have my a sample of Hula, and I have my full size Hula, which I need to use that up really as soon as I can. And then here I have some cream blushes and some regular blushes, some regular powder brushes. So I have mostly drugstore in this one, and mostly high end over here. I have L'Oreal, Milani. I think this is N Y X. Yeah, L'Oreal. Um, this is a sample that I got in Ipsy and a Rimmel blush, and then here I have Benefit Coralista, three different NARS blushes, a uh, Becca blush, some Tarte blushes, a MAC blush, and this is a Pixie blush, which I know is a drugstore brand, but it didn't fit anywhere else. And then back here I have two colors of body paint. This is my favorite drawer to kind of poke around in and play with. I have a bunch of Lorac shadows that actually were on sale at Nordstrom Rack, so I got all these at one time for $25, which is a really, really good deal. I have some Maybelline cream color bases, a Benefit cream color base, a Stila glitter metals thing. In between here, I just have some random eye bases. So I have Urban Decay, I have some samples of different Urban Decay ones. I have a NYX base, I have a Lorac base, and I have, I forget what brand this is, but I got it from my Ipsy. So these are all just different eye primers to try. This is where I keep a lot of my loose higher end shadows aside from the Lorac ones over here, obviously. These are all powder formulas. So I have a bunch of MAC ones. I have a MAC palette, like a really mini MAC palette. I know this one is Swiss chocolate. I forget what this one is, but I mostly have like neutral colors from MAC. So I have, but I have Gleam, which is a nice kind of like shimmery pink color. I have Satin Taupe. I have Naked Lunch and the different kind of neutral ones. I have three Urban Decay shadows back here. 
This one is Polyester Bride, which is one of my favorite colors, actually. It's so beautiful. It doesn't look like it quite on camera, but it's super, super shimmery. It's basically just pure white, and I absolutely love it for an inner corner highlight. I have the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in Himalaya, which I actually haven't used. I've had this for, like, almost a year, and it's so pretty that I don't want to use it. Like, I don't want to mess up the packaging, but I absolutely love the color of this. Back here is mostly samples and drugstore brands. I have like some Mary Kay stuff back here. I have a CoverGirl palette. I have actually one random NARS palette back here. That's because it didn't fit anywhere else. In this next drawer, I have my brow stuff, my eyeliner things, some, these are mostly um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. They're like cream shadow pencils and my mascara. So I have eyelash glue back there also with the brow stuff. I have a sharpener. I actually have one cream gel liner. This is Rich Ground from MAC. I have my brow pencil from Anastasia and some tweezers back there and a brow powder right there. And then here is, it's mostly black eyeliners. I don't really wear colored eyeliners that much. So I have liquid liners and pencil liners and coal liners here from a bunch of different brands. I have some drugstore ones, I have some non-drugstore ones, it just kind of varies. Kat Von D, MAC, L'Oreal, basically any liner that either comes in my Ipsy box or I get a sample of or that just looks nice. And then here on my next Jumbo Eye Pencils, I just have a variety of colors. I don't have all the pencils, but I have quite a few of them. This is a Makeup Forever Cream Formula Pencil. It is not good. It is not worth your money. It was like $25 and it basically doesn't even show up. Um, and then the rest of these are mostly things that have just been sent to me through Ipsy or somewhere else. And then for mascaras, I keep mostly drugstore mascaras. I don't really buy high-end mascaras, but if I get a sample of them or something, I'm obviously not going to turn that down. So I have like some Dior uh, mascara that are just sample size. I have... The ones that I buy are like the L'Oreal and the Maybelline, mostly. And I want to do something with a space back here. I don't know what to put there, but I will figure it out. Or if you guys have suggestions, let me know, because I feel like it's just dead space that could be used better. So this is my lip drawer. It is kind of organized. It's not super organized. I don't really have enough space for what I need, and I actually want to get one of those lipstick organizers from Amazon that you can put in the lipsticks individually and have the name side up. But I don't have those yet, so this is just kind of randomly organized and it's mostly by brand but it gets a little jumbled up later on so I have let's see I have my six MAC lipsticks here I have a MAC lip pencil here this is a limited edition um, I forget what collection this is from but it's the go for girly lip polish please focus camera and it is the prettiest pink I have ever seen I have my two YSL lipsticks, number one and number seven, which are both just pinks. I have another YSL sample lipstick over there and a Marc Jacobs lipstick that I got when I turned VIB Rouge at Sephora. And then you actually can't see too well, but right here I have an unopened NARS lipstick. This is in the shade Barbarella and an unopened Too Faced Melted Liquid Lip in the color Sh Melted Sugar, I believe. And again, the same thing with the Laura Mercier setting powder you saw almost first. I want to use up some stuff before I open those up too. So then in the center I just have some lipstick that didn't fit. I have two NARS lipsticks. This is Pago Pago and this is Audacious. The Audacious lipstick in the color is Charlotte, which is a really, really pretty red. And then I have a random L'Oreal Zoe Collection lipstick right here. Right here is where a bunch of my glosses are, but not all of them. I have just random, it's it's really, really random. I have NYX, I have Revlon, I have Stila, I have Hikari, which was a brand that was sent to me in an Ipsy. Um, and then I have some little random Makeup Forever and Sephora sample size lipsticks down here. Down here I have some more bombs like the um, Maybelline Baby Lips and the NYX Butter Lip Balm. And then back here I actually have all of my Revlon Lip Butters as well as a um, Too Faced lipstick right here, some Rimmel and a Starlux lip gloss, and then this is also a Too Faced um, lip cream, I believe, which is really, really nice in the shade Taffy. Back here, I just have my Tarte lip pencils or lip crayons or whatever you call them, and some NARS lip pencils right here, a NYX lip pencil, and just various lip liners and like lip big crayon things. This should technically be with that, but I kind of wanted to keep it with all the MAC stuff. It's definitely not makeup anymore, but this is where I keep all my nail polishes, some body paint in the back, and just like various manicure things right there. I actually took each color of the nail polish and swatched it on a piece of paper, and then cut out 
the piece of paper in a heart shape and taped it to the pop to the top of the nail polish bottle so I could see what color it was without having to go in and actually look at it. So for instance, this color from China Glaze in Flip Flop Fantasy, I have a little swatch of the color on the top in a heart shape. This next drawer is where I keep all my candles and lotions. I know I have a ton of candles and a ton of lotion, um, but I burn candles. I, leave, I have at least three burning pretty much any given time. So I have a bunch from Candles by Victoria, which is my favorite candle company. I have some random little votives that are just from different places. Um, I have some Bath and Body Works mini candles, one Bath and Body Works three wick in the way back, which is Tis the Season, which is the nicest Christmas candle ever. Um, I have a Newport Bay Candle Company gel candle way back there. Newport is a beach in Oregon that um, they have like a lot of little cute shops and that candle is so nice. Um, and then I have an anthropology one right there that I got for Christmas. And then in the front I have some lotions. I have some shea butter right there. I have like a heel thing right there. Some Lush and a Hawaiian Tropics like skin saver thing. The second to last drawer is actually just random like fairy light so I'm not even gonna go in there. I keep all my palettes on the desk next to my drawer set. These dividers are actually little office divider things or DVD dividers. I'm not really sure what they're meant to be. Maybe file holders that I got from Target and they're originally silver but I painted them, I spray painted them gold to match my room. So I'll go through my palettes really quickly. In the way back I have my Morphe palette because it is the biggest and this is, I forget what color 350 something I'll write it down below um, but this is my most like diverse palette and I love these shadows they're actually really high quality especially for the price next I have my Urban Decay Vice palette this is also a really diverse um, color range that I like to play with a lot because it has like the blue and the green and the purples and the pinks this is my Naked on the Run palette which actually doesn't have the liner, mascara, or lip gloss that it came with in there. They're all in separate places but it has some really nice neutral shadows. I don't actually use the blush that much because I feel like it's way too bright as well as the bronzer. I feel like it's a little bit too orange. The highlight shade is also really pretty. It's a nice matte highlight shade. In the back of the next palette I have my two Naked palettes. The original Naked palette as well as the Naked 3 palette. The, these palettes, I'm sure you guys have all seen them before, but I love them. They have a really, really great neutral range of colors. Then I have my Lorac Pro palette, which probably has, honestly, the highest quality of shadows that I own, especially in the palette region. I absolutely adore this palette. I have to get another Lorac. I think the Lorac Mega Pro palette is what just came out, and I really want to get that. The shadows are so incredibly pigmented and just glide on beautifully. They blend beautifully. Highly, highly recommend. Next is my Stila In Light palette. I actually don't love Stila as a brand. I feel like they're overpriced for the quality of the products, but there is one shade in this palette that I really, really love, and that is Kitten, the one second from the top left, if that makes sense. Like, this one right there. It is the most beautiful, most pigmented, shimmery shadow you will ever come across in pretty much all brands of makeup that I've tried anyway. I absolutely love that shade. As you can see, the rest of the shades haven't gotten that much use, um, but the palette, like you can buy Kitten on its own. That's what I'd recommend doing instead of buying this palette if you're thinking about it. I then have my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I, to be honest, don't use this that often. It was really expensive, and yes, the highlights are beautiful, but this was like the top of the line highlight palette maybe I think in 2014 or the end of 2014 and highlights I just feel have improved so much since then that I honestly use most other highlights above this one so I wouldn't repurchase this I'll try and use it up but I would not repurchase it next I have my beloved makeup ever flash palette this is the most wonderful palette if you want to do any more creative looks it's all cream formula and the colors are amazing you can basically mix them to get any color that you could ever possibly want and they're all super super crazy pigmented and you actually get a lot of product for what you pay last but actually sort of least I have this NYX 10 color eyeshadow palette I should probably toss this out I've had it for a couple years now and I don't really use it that often I don't think that the shadows in here for one I don't really like the colors anymore and number two they fall they have like, extreme fallout they're just not very high quality and I'll probably toss it right after I film this video but that is the last palette that I have I hope you guys liked that video. It's been requested like ever since I started YouTube. Again, please make sure that you read the disclaimer in the description box below before you make a comment. Give this video a, a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. 
and leave me a comment telling me what kind of videos you guys want to see for 2016. I have a bunch of plans, but I would love to hear your opinion. I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.